you... I don't expect other people to do that for me. You aligned your actions with your expectations for others. Correct. Nobody really cares about your stuff. No. Except you. Oh, you know what? I don't want to come to your party tonight. Like, I just don't have the energy for you and your friends. So it's just easier to say, you know what? I, I, have, I forgot I have dinner with my cousin and my aunt. That's so true. true. Get through it. And then you don't ever think about that week again. I know. It's you, so you, true. You never think back. You never even go... What are we going to talk about in Talking in Trucks? Let's go back to Talking in Trucks. <clears throat> Talking in Trucks has been cancelled off the air. Let's revive it. Revive? We are on our way to get... Revive? Revive. Revive. We're on our way to get Paul's truck detailed, aka clean. Yeah, because my truck looks like a Petri dish. Yeah. <laughs> like spit and God knows what all over everywhere. Because ah, you're always driving. I don't know. I, I, yeah. Either I sneeze a lot or I spit an extraordinarily amount when I speak. Or I'm yelling a lot, which can be the case. Uh, uh, Some people need to get yelled at. Just be thankful you're not one of them. I know. Speaking of which, it's Thanksgiving today here in Canada. Woo. We kind of forgot it's Thanksgiving, I feel. Like we, I didn't really remember till later, like last week, like mid last week, I was like, I called you and I'm like, it's Thanksgiving this weekend. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really celebrate. I know. We just, I mean, we do, but we don't. Yeah. We went up for a nice dinner, though. We'll make a big deal out of it. Okay. What do you want to talk about? We're going to get gas. Let's talk about getting gas. Dum dum dum. <laughs> okay, I have a topic I want to cover. Sure. It's a broad topic, but I think we could talk about people pleasing. No, you don't like Not that. an area of my expertise, but. <laughs> That's why I thought we could talk about yeah, sure. it. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Okay, so I think what I face and a lot of people face is like saying yes to things they don't want to say yes to, whether it be through a boss, friend, whatever, or it's like... Spreading yourself too thin. Spreading yourself too thin, all of that. But I feel like you never, like you're really good at not people pleasing, but I don't understand how. Like, aren't you scared you're going to offend someone? I think because I'm older, I've failed at this for a longer period of time so it appears that I might be better at it yeah <laughs> like I've just kind of got to the point in my life where I'm like I don't know you you as you know <laughs> I'm not one for like a lot of like self-help and all these different no motivational coaches and stuff online and on Instagram I yeah. think a lot of them are nonsense yeah like the or like the get rich quick get thing rich quick or I you know I'm gonna tell you how to be amazing in 90 days like, yeah I, I don't yeah. buy into any of that shit I think a lot of the power and strength that you need uh, is within you mm -hmm. and I think you have to just get in touch with yourself mm -hmm. now I think some people have had trauma and things happen to them in their life yeah. that maybe prevent them from being able to get in touch with themselves or hone into that energy as easily as others yeah. and therefore they would require some other assistance whether it be Therapy. therapist or coach yeah. or whatever yeah. but in general I think a lot of people just default to wanting someone to give them the magic answer and there is no magic answer like right? the the weight sorry to interject here but like kind of like the uh, weight loss pill yeah, like Ozempic. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yes. Everyone wants to yeah. take Ozempic now because it's the new hot thing. Quick weight loss. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't change your habits yeah. of eating, once you go off Ozempic, you're gradually going to gain all that back. Yeah, exactly. So if you don't increase your exercise or decrease the calorie of your the calories that you eat and increase the quality of your food, mm -hmm. you're never going to have long-term permanent results. But how do you how do you like apply that to not pleasing people or like standing up for yourself like how do you like is it well, just like small steps I was say, yeah sorry i'm getting in a roundabout way no. here but i'm saying like when you really sit with your quiet self and you say you know what truly makes me happy and yeah. what's really the worst thing that can happen if i just say no yeah if i just say you know what i'm not available yeah. or i don't want to do that i'll give you an example <laughs> when i was young in university mm -hmm. and stuff and like a lot of young people, I ended up moving around a lot because, you know, different apartments and different, you know, got to move into this apartment. Yeah. The next year, oh, you're in this apartment. And, and uh, like most people, I can't stand moving. Mm -hmm. And I finally got to a point, you know, and when you're young, all your buddies are asking you to, um, 
help them move. Yeah. You know, yeah, or your yeah. girlfriends are helping, you know. Like everyone's you, moving. Yeah. It's like, oh, can you come over and help me move this weekend? Or can you do, this? oh, we're all going to my place. I'm moving. Yeah. You know, having a moving party. So I finally just got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm never asking anyone to help me move again. Yeah. And I'm never helping anyone move again. That's so smart. Yeah. I pay for movers, as you know. Yeah. With everything I do. Yeah. And I'm not moving a, a yeah. couch. I'm not moving a chest. I'm not moving a fridge. And I'm yeah. sure as hell not moving an effing piano. So it kind of goes back to like, not you, what you did was you're like, you... I don't expect other people to do that for me. You aligned your actions with your expectations for others. Correct. Yeah. It's kind of like treating people the way you want to be treated. Yeah, I know true. that sounds so cliche, but yeah. it's kind of like, as you know, I try to put out a lot of positive energy into the yeah, world. Yeah, you do. And I feel like I get a lot of positive things coming back to me. Yeah. And I'm very yeah. thankful for those things. Now, do I wake up every morning and go, okay, where's all the positive things are going to happen to me? No, because guess what? There's always going to be curveballs. There's always yeah. going to be things that aren't so positive. But overall, I try to be a lot more positive than neutral or negative. Yeah. And you just, as you get older, getting back to the people pleasing, you just realize that nobody really cares about your stuff. No. Except you. It's so and true. And maybe a couple people, like immediate, like your mom, your dad, or your spouse, or whatever. But everyone's got their own stuff going on and we think that people care and worry about what we think and do way more than the reality of it all right? even to like i'll give you an example to kind of sorry i'm cutting cutting you off well yeah you should be <laughs> but even to what i realized is like i had to give a presentation today like i had to go at work for a little bit today to give a presentation and i'm like okay so giving this presentation i'm kind of nervous right <laughs> And I thought to myself, it's noon, so people are tuning into this, eating lunch, half paying attention, mm -hmm. or it's like I'm talking to a lot of people in California, so they're 9 a.m., so they're like having their first coffee, they just got their kids settled down, like yeah. no one's really paying attention to me. Nobody cares. No one yeah. cares. Yeah, they care, but they don't care. Yeah. You know what that means. So. Yeah. They're like half, like they nobody, care, like nobody's like, hyper analyzing. But they're what like, yeah. did Tiff stumble on this did word? She, did she, did she like, like get caught up on what she was yeah, trying to say there? Yeah. Like, yeah, no. I know it's true. No one cares about you as much as you think they do. Like we all yeah. have these like, it's not so even ego. But. Further to that point, no, it's not ego. It's yeah. it's just worrying that humans. Like, we're yeah, it is ego. We think we're more important in everyone's lives than yeah. we really are. When yeah. we really break it down, the only people that so the more important moral of the story is. You got to carry about care about you and your agenda. Yeah. The most. Yeah. Because if you don't, who else is going to do that? Nobody. No. It one. doesn't mean be selfish. It means be protective of your energy. And I know there's a lot of like again, coaches and speakers and motivational people have been saying like, "Oh, protect your energy and all this stuff yeah. lately." And that's fine. Yeah, sure. That's what you want to call it. But it's like there's givers and there's takers out there in the world. Yeah. Right? And, and you never know who you're going to run into. Right. And if you're around too many takers too often, mm -hmm. it just sucks all your energy. Yeah. And then you've got nothing left. Yeah. Right? So, and some people aren't givers and takers all the time. Sometimes they, they're flip-flopping depending on the situation. That's true, too. That's but, very true. But you have to understand that you can't just be give, 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 give. Yeah. Because then you won't have anything left for yourself. And sometimes you, it's okay to just say, you know what, mm -hmm. I'm not feeling it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think there's nothing wrong if it makes you feel better and you don't feel like that person can handle the honest truth. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should feel bad about telling a white lie about why you can't go. No, I know. There's some, yeah, it's you know? true. Sometimes because if people like are gonna try and okay. make make you feel bad because yeah. you don't want to go and they don't really want to hear the honest truth. Yeah. Like, oh, you know what? I don't want to come to your party tonight. Like, I just don't have the energy for you and your friends or yeah. some of the people at your party are yeah. extremely draining. Yeah. So it's just easier to say, you know what? I, I have I forgot I have dinner with my cousin and my aunt. That's so know? true. Yeah. Because it's yeah. just. The regardless of, of the truth of it all, the bottom line is you don't want to go. Yeah. And you're not going to benefit yourself or anyone mm -hmm. by being there. Yeah. And most people can't handle the truth. So yeah. the reality is if you have to tell the white lie of why you weren't there, well, so be it. You got to protect, protect yourself. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And I think it's one of those things that I've been trying to get better at is like not people pleasing. And it just, it's like a muscle, like kind of going back to like the diet thing or whatever. It's just, mm -hmm. it comes with time. Like I still find myself people pleasing 
but I think I've gotten way better at it than when we first met, don't you? Yeah, for sure, yeah. But it's like something you've got to keep on. It's not like an overnight success. No, and you and you, you always have to try and look at things. I think we did a video one time where I mm -hmm. called it my own style. I call it three three sixty introspection, right? Where, yeah, yeah. Where I take a situation and I like to rotate around it. Yeah. Three hundred sixty degrees. This so is something I coined ways. myself. Yeah. And I, I like to look at every angle yeah. and say, okay, if I do this, could this happen? Could mm -hmm. this happen? Could this happen? Could that happen? Could this happen? Could that happen? And then I look at all those outcomes and I say, are any of those outcomes grave or drastic? Uh, yeah, yes yeah, or no? Yeah, yeah. Okay. If there is a yes, then probably want to steer away from an action that might produce the gravest of outcomes. True. But... If there's no grave outcomes, which most of the time reality is there isn't, mm -hmm. then don't worry about it. Yeah. And then too, I like, like I know it's kind of depressing, but it's one of those things where it's like, is this really going to matter in like four, five years from now, five months from now? Yeah. Is it even going to matter in five weeks? Oh from my now? gosh. Most of the time it's like, no, no. If you had no. to break everything down to that, man, you'd be, everyone would be a lot less stressed. I know. It's so true. But I'm even like that too. It's like, yeah. It, it, it's especially bad when <clears throat> everything piles up and you just yeah. feel like it's all hitting you in one At day once. or one yeah. week mm -hmm. and it's just overwhelming right but yeah. then it's funny you, you you think about that time frame of that day or that week and you think it'll never end yeah, right? and yeah. you're like never going to get through it and then you there's like a thing in the middle of the road yeah. and then you get through it and then you don't ever think about that week again. I know, it's you, so you, true. You never think back. You never even go, you yeah. never revisit that ever again. Go, the energy you put so towards hard. it though, oh my gosh. Where you could have put your energy towards better things. Exactly. I know, I know. Exactly. That was a good shot. Oh. Oh, 10 out of 10. So good. 10 out of 10, worth my energy. I don't know how I look in this white track, so I think like marshmallow. I think you look really good. I don't know. We we're for context we're filming this, but the screen we're filming this on is like the size of your thumb. So I can't really see what we look yeah. like, but maybe I definitely don't look like the size of anyone's thumb. <laughs> okay, on that note, let's go get your truck clean. <laughs>